I know people say we shouldn't do a commentary on little kids, but this is my argument. Commentaries are a form of education. We criticize their work so that they, if they are willing to, listen and learn from their mistakes. Also, we're not the first people to criticize them. They are criticized at home by their parents and at school by their teachers. However, for most of us, we do it in an entertaining fashion so that you, the viewer, can enjoy watching it without feeling like you're at school. Oh yeah, also, stay in drugs, don't take a school, yada 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 yada, let's get on with the commentary. Sometimes you could tell how unoriginal someone can be by just listening to their username. Here's one, biggest video game that you get the picture. Now I could have done a commentary on his commentary on another person's commentary on a rant video on Bronies he made, but I didn't want to waste 50 minutes of my time. So instead, here's a rant video about furries. Suck my motherfucking dick! Is this another one of those white trash trying to act black for reals? This is going to be Furry Rant Part 1. Woo! That's totally a good way to start a video. Celebrations to all because this is part one of my rant. Okay, so I'm ranting on furries. I promised a furry rant. And this is going to be how it is. I'm going to say it right out here. The furries are much worse than bronies. People who are a combination of bronies and furries are even worse. And people who are a combination of furries, bronies, and Christians are the equivalent of the apocalypse. Let's begin with the rant now, shall we? Okay, first of all, what is so awesome about, like, okay, what the hell? Why do you dress in animal suits and freaking go around uh, acting like an animal? Well, in hindsight, there's no one way of what makes a furry, and there are debates of what makes a person a furry. So... And then, like, you know, you dress up in a fox costume, and, you know, you invite your furry girlfriend over, and you yiff. Because all furries like to dress up in animals and have sex. It's kind of like how all first-person shooter fanboys like to be mass murderers. Yiffing is the sexual version of intercourse, basically. Except it's not really, they just, like, hump with fursuits on. That's all they do. And, really... And, uh, Saints Row 3 is a bad game, but the my favorite part about Saints Row 3 is that you can kill furries in that game. And I like how you can dress up as a BDSM superhero. So I love killing furries. It's pretty cool. Killing furries. It's awesome, don't you think? Um, quick question. Do you kill small animals or wet the bed? But, yeah. Um, I just like how, like, when I, like, throw, like, fight, like, when I, like, uh, shoot them with my AK-47 and like throw fire at them, like shoot them with a rocket launcher, it's pretty funny. Um, yeah, whilst you have fantasies over killing innocent people, I'm just gonna skip a few seconds, okay? So the furry fandom is basically messed up in the head, anyone who's a furry, and the fur, fur being a furry is like the, the furry fandom is like the number one like laughing stock in all of the internet. Apart from the bronies, the sonic fandom, uh, YouTube whores, fanboys of YouTube whores. And there's really not much else to say about furries. I might make a part two if furries come over in my comment section and say, There's nothing wrong with being a furry. You know, I'd like to see a part two, considering that you did a five part video on bronies, which totally shows that you're not obsessed with them. But yeah, this is me, signing out. Why can't we live in a world where everyone is united in harmony? Bronies, furries, little kids on the internet, we all unite together as one to defeat the evil monkeys. I'm not insane, they are trying to kill us, okay? With that being said, this is entertainment. Now if you excuse me, I need to become Captain BDSM and save the world.